Africa's current economic performance stands in sharp contrast with the 1980s, a decade characterized by slow growth and a crashing debt burden. Over the last five consecutive years, the continent has ranked among the world's fastest growing economies, despite shrinking global economy. Even though growth has slowed from 5.4% in 2012 to 4.1% in 2013, it has still almost doubled the global average growth rate. Despite Africa's recent impressive growth performance, a number of challenges remain, particularly in the areas of job creation and social service delivery. At the 7th Joint AU-ACA Conference of Finance Ministers in Abuja, delegates conceded that this is as a result of exportation of primary commodities from the continent. Yes, value addition is a key to the development of the continent. This idea of exporting our materials raw has to stop. Member states should allocate an adequate resources for, developing in the, for, for, uh, for funding the industrial development. Industry, not, directly only, not only directly industry, but it needs also the cross-cutting area supporting industry, like industrial services, institutions, uh, institutions capacity building, uh, human resources capacity building, training, uh, infrastructure, energies, all these sectors that need be to be supported, really fully supported by member states. Revenue generation in Africa will be immensely increased if these measures are adhered to. These resources can be channeled into other humanitarian services. There's a lot of uh, um, conflict going on in Africa, which means people are going to be forcibly displaced either by conflict or by national, uh, natural disaster, natural man-made disaster. What are we going to do with this group of people? This is something that we're asking the question. When states who have ratified the convention have put in reservation with regard to freedom of movement, with regard to, uh, to the right to work, and even the right to documentation. The focus on inclusive development derives its focus on the important role it plays in promoting sustainable development. Now, the current social and political unrest on the continent provides ample evidence of the appropriateness of this focus. Reporting from Abuja, Nigeria, Nabil Ahmed Rufai for ETV News.